Zucchini is one of my favorite summer vegetables, and sauteing it is one of the fastest, tastiest ways to make it. But I've developed a special method, don't worry, it's super easy, and a special, super common, secret ingredient that gives it a whole new level of flavor. Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com, and I make easy, healthy recipes with 10 ingredients or less. So today, I'm showing you what I think is the best way to make sauteed zucchini. It takes just 10 minutes, you only need four simple ingredients, plus salt and pepper, the result comes out tender and flavorful, and it's a great way to use up your summer zucchini. You're going to love it. Let's do this. You're going to need three cloves of minced garlic for this recipe, because garlic makes everything better. And you can use jarred garlic for this if you like. It would be about one and a half teaspoons, but I prefer fresh because I think it tastes better, and it's only three, so it won't take you that long. Cut off the root ends first, and then my method, just bang with a knife, and then the skin should come right off. And just slice thinly, and mince using a rocking motion. I had some pretty giant garlic cloves here, but I love garlic, so I think this is going to be a great thing. Just set that aside. And the star of our show is one pound of zucchini. That's about two large zucchini like these, or it might be three smaller ones. And we'll slice those, not too thin, but not too thick. I usually do a little bit less than half an inch. If you slice it too thinly, then it's going to get mushy. But if you make it too thick, then it'll take longer to cook. Nobody wants that. This is a quick recipe. Try to keep your zucchini uniform in thickness, that way it'll cook all at the same rate. Transfer that to a bowl and we're ready to cook. I prefer a cast iron skillet for sauteing zucchini because it browns faster and cooks more evenly without getting too mushy. But nonstick works too. This one is 12 inches, so you can cook more zucchini at once. So we'll turn this on to medium high heat and add some olive oil. It's about a tablespoon, but I usually just eyeball it, and if I end up with more, well, it tastes that much more delicious. And we'll just let that heat up for a couple minutes. It's ready to go when the oil slides around the pan easily. Now we'll go ahead and add the zucchini. Add it in a single layer. A little overlapping is okay, but you don't want it too crowded because that will prevent nice browning. Just be careful with the hot oil. And you can turn the heat down a little bit if it feels like it's too hot. Notice I didn't add any salt at this step because salt is actually going to prevent that browning. We'll cook this for about four to five minutes total, stirring and flipping occasionally, but not constantly because again, that's going to prevent the browning. You can flip once you see that it's starting to brown on the other side. I like this nice browning on my zucchini, but if you don't like yours brown this much, you can just cook this at lower heat too. Now we're going to make a well in the middle, make a space. Once your zucchini is almost done, that's when you would do this. And time for our secret ingredient, a tablespoon of butter. This is going to give your zucchini so much flavor. Such a simple addition, but it makes a huge difference. Go ahead and let that melt. And we're going to saute the garlic in it. So add the minced garlic. At this point, make sure the heat is at medium low or low. You don't want to burn the garlic. And we don't want to burn the butter either, and that's why we're adding this towards the end instead of adding it all the way in the beginning and sauteing the zucchini in the butter. Once that's nice and fragrant, we'll remove from heat and stir this all together. Final step, season with salt and pepper to your taste. The amount you'll need is about a quarter teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, but you can adjust that to taste, and I usually just use these grinders and eyeball it. If you want to be precise, you can measure. You want to transfer this to a serving dish pretty quickly so that it doesn't continue to cook and burn in the skillet. So if you like it super soft, just slice it more thinly or cook for a little bit longer at lower heat. Don't forget to get that delicious garlic out of the pan too. I like a little sprinkle of parsley for a finishing touch, but this is totally optional. Look at that beautiful browning. I'm excited to try a bite of this. Tender, buttery, garlicky perfection. This is one of my favorite ways to eat zucchini. And if you have more zucchini to use up, check out my method for no-fail zucchini noodles that are not watery.